Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got a craft room tour to share with you. It's been about a year and a half almost um, since I did my last one and I personally really love watching these so I have moved a couple of things around since my last video um, so I thought I would do another one. So this is the overview of my room. This is me standing in the doorway. So the bulk of my room is these two desks here and I've got like a work area and then a craft area. And then I've got my Rascog unit there. And then moving to the other side of the room, slowly, <laughs> so I don't make you sick. Um, I have a cabinet here with um, lots of other supplies, um, my stamps mainly and some cardstock. And then I've got these stackable units here on the right and they again got cardstock and embellishments in. So I'm going to take you on a tour of my craft room. So first of all, starting over on this side, this is like my work section, but I thought I would still share it with you since it's part of the whole room. Obviously I've got my desk, my computer, and my printer. I keep my file of facts on top of my printer and a little box of tissues. And I've got um, a microphone there that I use for voiceovers on my videos. And then up here I've got a notice board and then I've got a, um, a shelf with um, some tins in. These have all got like cables for cameras and things like that. So below my desk I've got one of these drawer units. These are um, the Helmer drawer units from Ikea. I have three of them in total um, sort of between the desks. The first one here holds uh, mainly stationary items but I'll still share with you what's inside them. So I don't know if you can see on the top I just have one of these um, kind of little bag things and then I've got quite a lot of different labels in there and I use them mainly for my file of facts. The top drawer here holds mainly post-it notes. I have quite a few different post-it notes, some little page flags, um, some clips and various things like that. The next drawer here, this is my Filofax case. I've got lots of different bits for my Filofax in there. I've got my label maker, I've got some Project Life cards and I've got a Filofax punch at the back. The next drawer here is um, obviously just general stationery items. I've got some tape, um, another Kipling case. This one has pens in and then I've got loads of other pens as well. Um, I do love my pens. <laughs> The next drawer here is kind of camera equipment. So I've got my point and shoot camera, I've got my case for my camcorder and then an extra lens for my Canon camera. The next drawer has um, some notebooks, some business cards, some like business card sticker type things and um, a little pencil case. And then the bottom drawer it holds all my filing. So anything that I need to file away, I pop in there and then at the end of the week I file it away. So this is the crafting side of my room. Above my desk I've got two shelves and then on this one here I have two of these. These are actually plant pots from Ikea but I have all my washi tape in them so I've got two of those. And then this tin here in the middle holds embossing folders, embossing plates, um, things like that. This one here, I've got all of my colour soft pencils in there and then I have my Zig Clean Colour Real brush pens. This here is like a, it's actually a ramekin, um, but I use it, if I'm using my absorber cloth, I put it in there so my desk doesn't get wet or any little dyes or anything like that I have on my desk. This basket here is from Hema and um, it tends to hold, there's nothing in it at the moment, but it tends to hold like cards if I've made them and then I'm waiting to photograph them or something like that. So moving down. This is my main actual desk and I do actually attach my camcorder um, to this shelf here and um, with a with a tripod and this this is kind of like the view that you see. So on my desk I have this lamp here. This is from IKEA and I have a daylight bulb in it. I think it's called the Forcer lamp. Um, it's a really good lamp actually, um, really quite inexpensive and um, it's good for filming. I've got my Copic markers here, <coughs> excuse me, I've got my Copic markers. These are in the colour cubbies from Studio 3 Solutions. Um, they seem to be a company that kind of goes in business, out of business, in business. I'm not sure at the moment whether they are or not, so I do apologise for that. But um, I really like these colour cubbies and obviously as you can see it holds all of my Copic markers. 
and then right at the bottom here I have some of the Wink of Stella pens and then also some Copic um, speaker pens. Next up is one of these kind of like letter racks, um, it's an acrylic one, this is from Ryman's and I use it to hold um, the little notebook at the front is where I put in all of the supplies that I've used on a card so when I go to blog I have kind of got all the information and then I've got a little notebook here that I use for ideas for videos, <laughs> things like that. I've got my Martha Stewart scoring board and then I have my Copic colour charts, my hex chart and the one from Copic. And next up is my tool carousel. Now this holds an absolute ton of stuff. Really, really like it. It does take quite a bit of space on my desk, but um, I do like it. It's from the Great Little Trading Company here in the UK. Um, I believe they kind of make one slightly different now. I don't think it's got the drawers in. I bought this quite a while ago, but like I said, absolutely love it. <laughs> um, as you can see, I've got my ATG gun. I've got lots of rulers, more scissors than anyone could possibly ever need. I've got like uh, my multimedia matte, my glossy accents, Pico embellisher, some multimedia matte, um, not multimedia matte, sorry, mono multi glue, um, some kind of stick it glue. I've got a couple of these little um, cutting boards and um, like a, a foam board there from Stampin' Up. And then I've got a little piece of craft sheet here just in case I want to add any glue to it. Got some glue pens, some um, pencils, some erasers, and these are all kind of like my main tools. I've got some pokey tools, some tweezers, craft knife, um, bone folder, things like that. And then I've got a sanding block. Um, these are the cutters that I use for cutting dies. Tim Holtz tiny attacher, scissors, more scissors. <laughs> Um, the We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder punches, I've got some kind of extra pliers, things like that all around. Um, and then in the drawers I've just got um, erasers and um, adhesive erasers, Copic nibs, <laughs> loads and loads of stuff. I've then got uh, my craft mat here and then underneath it I have one of these non-stick um, kind of mats. This is from Hema, it's quite helpful to kind of, so it doesn't slide around the table. And then I've got my Cricut, um, Cricut Explore here on the windowsill. It doesn't usually stay here all the time, especially when it's sunny. Obviously, I don't keep it on the windowsill with the sun coming in, but um, it's there at the moment. So then under my desks, I have one of these hooks. Um, I can't remember who they're made by, actually, but I will have a link to them. These are really good because you can just stick them on temporarily. And then this is my Cricut mat. Above these drawers I have my Misty and then some templates and then I have a light box at the back. And then these drawers here hold all of my kind of main crafty supplies. So the top drawer holds my kind of main used um, ink pads. I've got like my Men Memento, lots of different black ones. I've got my Versamark and then some white ones. These are my personalised stamps here. And then I've got um, some um, Copic white, I've got some multimedia mats, some drawing gum, and then some Copic refills. This drawer here holds all of my stamping supplies, so I've got my acrylic blocks. I have them in one of these um, Linus Interdesign containers. They're really good. I do have some non-slip mat in quite a lot of these drawers, so things don't kind of move around too much. Um, I've got a little bit of an absorber cloth that um, is very dirty at the moment. My baby wipes, I've got um, my Hero Art scrubber pad and then at the back I've got my stamp position, I've got my Martha Stewart um, stamp presses and then some cloths. This drawer here is my Distress ink, so I've got um, the full size ones at the front and then I've got a few of these smaller ones in the tins. I am going to try and convert over to the um, tins at some point completely, hopefully, um, the smaller ones. But um, once I can afford it, I'll do that. And then I've got all of my um, distress markers at the back. The next drawer is kind of just general tools, so I've got a, um, a range of craft sheet. I do actually have one that's attached to a board and I use this one quite a bit um, there as well, but I've got that spare one here. I've got some embossing paste, some tools for the embossing paste, all of my little um, blending tool things, the tops for those, which is the, um, the foam pads, and then I've got some daubers and then some extra foams and things like that. 
The next draw is kind of colouring mediums. So I've got my ink tents, pencils, my watercolour paints. Um, at the back I've got some blending stumps, some twinkling H2Os and some other watercolour pencils. And then these are the kind of little tubs that I use for water. The bottom drawer holds watercolour paper. I've got lots of different watercolour papers, Tim Holtz I like quite a bit. And then I've got my Copic airbrush. Under my desk, is a, it might be a little bit difficult to see, um, but at the back there I have lots of different mats. So I have ones that I use like for spraying and then I've got a couple of extra cutting mats, um, a glass mat and a foam mat. And then that's my guillotine there. So moving on to this side of the drawers, I have at the top, I have um, my Somerset stamp grid paper and then I've got some extra kind of scrap paper at the top. This drawer here holds all of my adhesives. Again, I've got more adhesives than anyone could possibly ever need. Um, but I've got some post-it tape, some, this is the little Xyron X machine. I've got tape runners, some more tape runners, some glue dots, and um, various different foam pads. Um, I've got glue sticks, um, some extra tapes, loads and loads of adhesives. This drawer here holds the bags that I use to um, kind of store my cards that I've made. And then I've got some little like treat bags and then my envelope punch board. This drawer here is all envelopes. <laughs> really not very exciting, but um, you need the envelopes. This drawer holds all of my storage items. So magnetic sheets, my Avery L storage pockets, my swatch pockets. This one is kind of various different tools. So I've got some anti-static cloth, some spray adhesive, my absorber cloth, some extra other kind of cloth, some masking tape. And then right at the bottom here, I have um, some kind of things for the cricket. So I've got cricket vinyls, um, tools, extra things like that. And then I've got an extra cutting mat there. This is my Rascal unit from Ikea. I have to say I absolutely adore this thing. Holds quite a lot of different things. So on the side here I have another one of those hooks and I just hook my um, heat gun to that. And then in the top here I've got a mug which is full of lots of different paint brushes. All my pens, so like my Copic multi-liners, glue pens, um, gel pens, sorry, things like that. Got my Wink of Stellas at the front. And then this is another one of these um, kind of like storage container things these are from Ikea if you haven't noticed I absolutely love Ikea <laughs> so I've got some kitchen paper some post-it tape and um, some masking tape some micropore tape this is um, the EK success, success powered tool um, a glitter cleanup roller I've got my Fisker stamp press some clear foam tape my Epicurean board masking paper and um, stick it um, my massive roll of foam tape that stays there and then this is my swatch book I do have a separate video on that which I will link down below the next shelf down on my Rascog I have my paper pads these are the 6x6 paper pads and then I've just got a couple of 8x8 on the right here these are all my doodle bug ones and then these are kind of just other makes most of them are lawn fawn and then I have them in these um, if I can manage to get it out I have them in some of the Linus Interdesign containers right at the bottom I have my cuttle bug and then I've got all my cuttle bug plates and then I've got another one of those kind of Ikea um, storage things <laughs> um, can't really think of the word and then I've got my tripod or my monopod for when I'm filming moving on to the other side of the room I have this um, unit here this again is from Ikea unfortunately it, it is no longer sold there but um, really really nice kind of shelving unit at the top I have two baskets that I use for my recycling bits so any kind of off cuts of paper or card I pop them in there and then at the end of the week I pop them in my recycling um, it's not it really isn't very nice to look at but it's practical and um, this box here these ones are from Ryman's um, I really quite like the bright color of those this one here holds all of my um, wood mounted stamps and then these ones obviously got more stamps in these are my paper tray ink stamps I have them in between two sheets of acetate and then they're in the um, Tim Holtz storage binders these were made to kind of go in a binder folder so they've got holes in them but it doesn't really matter I just like to flick through them 
Um, I've got the same kind of stamps. Um, these are the kind of like larger sets like MFT and Autonew and things like that. Um, I just keep them in the same, obviously the same um, thing that the stamps are on, but I just pop them in one of the Tim Holtz storage binders. This one here holds unmounted stamps. Um, I've got all of my um, background stamps at the front um, in the same kind of storage solutions that Jennifer Maguire uses um, for background stamps. Um, I do apologise, I'm quite short so it's difficult for me to get here but um, they're all kind of there and I can just flip through them. And at the back I've got some DVD cases with unmounted stamps in as well. So moving down these are all my clear stamps. I have them in these boxes. These are DVD boxes from Muji. Really, really like them. Um, especially good if you can't get hold of the um, interdesign ones. Um, these were bought before I kind of knew about the interdesign ones, but uh, I still really like them. So all of my clear stamps I have in the Avery L storage pockets, and I just label those. And then if I've got a die to match, I do pop them in the back. Um, usually on magnetic sheet. And then I've got um, some folders that I use for dividers and they're all kind of in alphabetical order of manufacturer. And then these here are all my clearly besotted stamps. Um, I'm on the design team so obviously I have um, a lot of them. <laughs> um, and then I have my standalone dies for clearly besotted in these kind of CD um, storage pockets. Um, so that's where I have them. And then I have my new release stamps at the front which obviously I can't show you just yet. Moving down I have all of my 85 by 11 cardstock and then I've got some foam sheet at the back. Again I have a video on this but I just label it all um, so you can kind of see from this side what um, the cardstock is. And then these are my um, standalone kind of dies um, storage. Um, I'll just get one out and show you. So this is what the folders look like inside. You've got all of these kind of binder sheets and then um, I've just got some magnetic sheet, popped that on top and then added the dies on and then just labelled it and I've obviously got um, quite a lot of different um, sheets here. I have sold some of the dies so there's not tons in there but um, that's how I hold them. In the drawer here at the bottom I've got all of my ink pads so I have them in these A5 storage boxes. They're kind of semi clear so you can see what's in them and I do just label them and have one for each manufacturer although here are what I've got a, um, about three for, the, um, for them so as you can see they're kind of three deep into the drawer. Um, if I had a better way of storing them like in different space I probably would store them differently but um, they work for me like this. And then I've got some sprays, I've got um, stamp cleaner, some kind of mists, um, <coughs> excuse me, mini mister bottles. I've got my Novus cleaner for my misty tool. I've got some Copic cleaner and then I've got um, some memento markers. At the bottom here I have two of these um, cropper hopper cases. Um, they're not particularly nice to look at but um, they hold um, like off cuts of ribbon and things like that. Um, I don't tend to use ribbon that much now but um, they're there. So then moving across I've got my stackable units. On top of those I have a magazine rack full um, of some magazines actually um, and some reference books and my stamping up catalogues. This um, binder here holds all of my stencils and I do have a video on that which I will link below. And then I've got my camera. These are the stackable units. I do like them because you can actually change the the things. So um, for the top one I've got all of I've got trays for paper, but you could change them to drawers or anything you wanted to, which I do like. So this is all my 12x12 12 12 cardstock on paper. Most of it is doodlebug. I have some basil, some stamping up, and some doodlebug papers. So this one here holds all of my embellishments, so these are all the drawers. So the top one here holds doodlebug embellishments, so I've got buttons, clips, brads, um, just various different embellishments that doodlebug have released over the years. The next one is lots of different embellishments. I've got um, some wood veneer, some chipboard, some flare, some googly eyes, more clips, just general embellishments. This drawer here is practically empty. I have some um, Creator Smile chipboard. This one is all my stickers. So I have mainly doodlebug stickers. I've got some alphabet stickers, a couple of thickers. 
this one is my rub-ons I don't use them on cards or I haven't for a long time but I do tend to use them in my filofax this one is all my twine and thread mainly do the bug twine I've got some threads some hemp teak cord and some kind of extra cords and um, twine This one is all of my sequins and beads. So I have my um, kind of the packets that you buy separately. These are in the craft mates containers. I do really like them. So they're my pretty pink posh. And then I've got Lucy's sequin mixes, some lawn fawns, some just general ones that I've bought separately. And then all of these little ones here are all my doodle bug sequins. These are all my buttons. Um, again, I haven't used them on cards for a while, but I definitely can't get rid of them. I seem to really love buttons. Um, but these little boxes here, you can get them from Paper Tray Ink or from Sarnis' Stamp, and um, they're really quite handy because they hold quite a lot of different buttons. And then as you can see, I just have one for each colour. The next drawer here holds all of my embossing powders and glitters. So I've got my Hero Arts ones, my Ranger, and then all my Wow. And um, what I do to label them is I have actually have them the pots upside down. <laughs> um, and then I just um, print out the label on my on my computer, print it out onto some label paper, and then I cut it out with a circle punch, and that just goes on the bottom. So I've got all of these are all doodle bug. I've got um, the fine glitter, the chunky glitter and the flock. And then I've got some um, distress glitter. And then at the back there I've got some stickles. These are all my um, kind of <laughs> flat embellishments I suppose. So I've got quite a lot of enamel dots, um, some rhinestones and some pearls. These are all doodle bug here, here and here. I absolutely love the doodle bug stuff. And then I've got quite a few of the My Mind's Eye enamel dots. I've got some crater smiles, some um, hero arts and some stamping up. And this drawer here at the bottom holds all of my paper tray ink ribbon. Again, I haven't used it on cards for quite a while, but I really do love their ribbon. Really nice for wrapping up presents as well. And then I've got some um, paper tray ink felt, and then these are paper tray ink twine. And then I don't know if you can see here at the side, but this is my tripod, um, and I use that um, for taking photos or um, sometimes filming. So that was the tour of my craft room for 2015. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have any questions about anything I've shared, please leave me a comment on YouTube or on my blog and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. I will have links to the various um, videos that I shared, sort of that I talked about in the video, um, down in the description bar again on YouTube or also on my blog, and also links to the various um, storage items that I've used. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.